Alrighty guys, how's it going? So I'm going to walk you through the, the CAD. This is pretty much the final form of the CAD. But again, if I change it again, I will uh, change it around. Anyways, you create your character. If it's your very first time, you go to New Character. You fill this information out. Click Add Character. And then you'll have this profile here with the Duke's name. We're going to come here. So say you want to register your license. You come to license. Everything in yellow has to be filled out. So your status, go valid if you want it to be actually be valid in the state of Wisconsin here. Expiration anywhere that is not past 2027. So you can have it be exactly 1231 2027. But it can't be past that. It can't be 2028, 2029, 2020. It would be 2030 at that point. Or beyond. And I see a lot of you guys trying to put 2038 and 2083 and 2090. No, just no. 2027 is the furthest you can go with your license. And when we get into 11 2028, uh, 11 2023. I'll change that to be 2028. It's always a couple of years ahead. Again, all your stuff should kind of auto-populate here. You can always change stuff too. If you want a regular driver's license, select this. If you only want it to be a photo ID, select photo ID only. Or if you want it to be a learner, learner's permit, say your character's under the age of uh, 16. You'd have a learner's permit in the state of Wisconsin, 14 and a half to 16 years of age. Or say you're 16 to 18, or really at any point in age, your license was revoked, um, and you are in the learning process of getting a new one. When you have a learner's permit, um, you automatically have to have a valid driver's license, driver in the passenger seat. So anyways, we're going to set this regular driver's license. If it's a photo ID only, none of this other stuff matters for these two sections. But your weapons, your hunting, your pilot, your water, all apply no matter what you choose here. All your licenses are in one form, so no need to fill out multiple. Please don't fill out multiple, they will be automatically removed. Alright, so say you want CDL, um, A, you technically B and C with it. Um, say you want a motorcycle endorsement, say you want your hazmat, your doubles and triples, your tanker, passenger for regular passenger, and then your school bus for school bus. Um, you can have all these. You can select as many of them that apply. If you don't want A, but you want B and C for your CDL, you can do that. If you're ever going to pull a trailer with anything that's considered a CDL, or anything that is considered a CDL required vehicle, which is over 26,001 26, pounds, it must have the combination that's automatically CTL A. If there's anything that uh, restricts your driving, so like myself, I have to have corrective lenses because we did the eye test wrong and I don't feel like fighting the government to fix it. So you just go corrective lenses. If you're only allowed to drive during the day, boom. If you're not allowed to drive over 45 miles an hour, boom, that is a thing. So you can't go on freeways and stuff, but you can still drive around town to go to work. Uh, you're allowed to have dark tint, but you have to have medical papers. If you're going to work or to school only, that'd be again with more so on your uh, permit stuff. If you are required to have a passenger over 21 in the passenger seat, uh, this here, this game kind of connects to learner's permits and some other stuff. Um, ignition interlock, that's if you have a bunch of drunk driving things. Now you have to have that little breathalyzer you breathe in before your car even starts. So there's those options. Alright, so now you have your weapons, your hunting, your pilot, and your watercraft stuff. The watercraft, real simple. It's either valid, revoked, and, or suspended, and not even applicable to your character, or it's expired. And nothing further with that. The weapons, the hunting, and the pilot license are all the same idea. But you can go over here now if you're gonna have fixed wing you must have private or commercial selected or I will revoke those licenses as well I'll just delete them from the system because you're not doing it right 
Because you're either a private pilot or a commercial pilot, you're not just a fixing pilot. You have to have the private or the commercial selected with it. Could do both. If you're a rotor ring, you're at least one of these other two as well. That's a helicopter. Uh, like I say, for all these, check all that apply, check all that apply, and check all that apply. So you set it as active and you select whatever you want. If you only want fishing license, boom, you have that. If you only want coyote, boom, if you want them all, you select them all. And if there's anything special we need to know, like say your licenses were revoked for a crap ton of reckless driving, then boom, we know why your stuff was revoked. Anything strange like that. Now, you just could add record and you'd come back to we're gonna switch characters here so you can see it you click on records refresh once it refreshes and you'll have a license and this is kind of what it looks like this is an old form I gotta update this dude's license anyways that is how you do the license in the kit.